Hello there, it's Sandy with a Bible journaling page that is years in the making. The page itself, not so much, but the discussions with the Lord have gone on for many years until I reached this point of breakthrough where I have finally reached the end of my rope and needed needed some different kind of help that God has provided. And I'm just so grateful for his patience with me. For a number of years, probably three, four, five years, I've had an ongoing whine where it sounds something like, Lord, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. I have so many things on my to-do list. And you say that you give rest to the weary and I'm weary. Would you just give me a cup of rest? That's all I need to make it through. I can get back to work if I just have a little rest. From time to time during this wine, God would tell me some things that he thought maybe would help me, like giving me suggestions on what I might opt out of, things I might give up. Like one particular instance, I was really struggling because I had a design team video that was due in a couple weeks and there was no way I could see it happening. I just had too much on my plate and me who says yes to everything, couldn't figure out how to say no to this, but I was like, I don't know how I'm going to get it done. And he suggested very simply, just email. So you can't do that one. And I thought, okay, I'll try it. I'll, I'll give it a shot. <laughs> I was desperate. And I wrote to them and said, I, I wouldn't be able to make it to do that video the answer I got back from them was very sweet, very nice. Oh, so sorry to hear you're so swamped. Our viewers will be sad, but it'll be all right. And for most people, that would be just fine. For me, the way I heard that was, oh my goodness, people are going to be sad. I can't make people sad. I like to make people happy. So I will write them back and say, never mind, I'll get it done. And I stayed up night after night really late into the wee hours to get it done. I was more worried about random people on the internet who would be sad that I didn't put a video out. I, I mean, I think about it now and I'm like, that is a crazy thought, but I didn't want to make people sad. I didn't want to disappoint anyone. And instead what I ended up doing was disappointing God by my disobedience. And he did this a number of times. He would give me suggestions and sometimes I would try, but most of the time I would just anticipate somebody's going to be sad about this and I would just not do it. And what I have found through my life is that if I am disobedient often enough, God will just stop talking to me on that issue. He definitely allowed me to continue whining and he would just sit there and listen to me, but he was not offering suggestions anymore because I was clearly not in a place to want to listen. I just struggled, struggled alone on this for a very long time. Well, not alone. I have a friend I text my, my gripes to as well. But nonetheless, I muscled through and just kept plowing on. Well, this past fall, I decided I need to do something different. I just cannot keep up this pace. I'm on an eternal hamster wheel that just won't quit spinning. And I was ready to take my December sabbatical, but I knew that that was not going to be enough this time. I normally take the month of December off of YouTube and this was just not going to, not going to be enough. I needed to change plans and I started thinking I need to just make some new plans. And God sent me this verse from Psalm 127. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. Now, at first, I was a little offended that he said my toil was in vain, but I hung on to the granting of sleep to those he loves because I know he loves me. This verse was followed very quickly with an onslaught of verses from so many sectors about how much God loves me unconditionally. It was, it was very odd. It was every song I heard, every sermon, every devotional. I even had two random friends send me verses that week. And they never send me verses from these two people. So God clearly needed me to know 
that that he loved me unconditionally. But I didn't think that was my issue. My issue was I was being disobedient. I was being a pill and I didn't want things to change because some things I like change in and some things I like to stay the same. And I just didn't know what to do if God was going to ask me to give up a lot of things. I have had no idea what he was going to request of me. I had no idea if he would leave me enough to make an income to pay my mortgage and my health insurance. I had no clue what was coming, but I did decide I trust him. He's got my back. I'm going to let him make the choices. And I sat down and made a list of all of my regular commitments, all those things I do either every week or every month or every quarter or whatever, and sought his counsel on every single one of them over the course of a couple months. And he had some things that he asked me to give up, other things that he said to keep. And there were other ideas too that came up in these conversations we had about dreams that I've had for many years that he's planted in me that there will now be space to start to address. And that is a beautiful thing. But it wasn't until about two thirds through the list when something became very clear because what came up on the list was Bible journaling videos. And when it came up and I brought it to him and said, okay, God, need to know what you want to do with Bible journaling videos. And in that, just remember that when I got frustrated a few months ago with the response to Bible journaling videos and that the channel has just gone so, so downhill in views that it's get, getting to be discouraging. I said, okay, God, what do you want to do? People were really disappointed when I even hinted that I might not make Bible journaling videos. So just remember that when you make your decision, because people will be sad. Well, his answer to this was not what I expected at all. He did not tell me if I should or should not make more Bible journaling videos. His answer was, you do realize that whether or not you make Bible journaling videos, I love you just as much. And I bawled like a baby. I did not even realize that part of my motivation in doing these videos is to prove to God how much I love his word. I wanted him to see that I wanted his word out here every Sunday. If it killed me, I would get it out here every Sunday. No matter what it took, I was going to do it to prove to him that I love him and I love his word. And I never knew that I even had doubts about his love for me that that I would think that. So we had a really good cry about that, but it was a good cry this time, not a, not a whiny cry. And he keeps telling me how much he loves me because now I, I can accept that I need to hear it more from him. So that brings me to what's the decision if he didn't tell me what to do? Well, my decision is I'm not going to put a video out every Sunday. I'm not going to hold myself to that. I might put one out every six weeks. I might have two weeks in between. I don't know. I'm going to do it when the Lord says, here's something to share. In probably a couple weeks, I will be closing the Bible Journaling Made Simple Facebook group because of all of this, I just don't have time to keep up with the group, and it's not fair to the admins to put it all on them. I'm grateful for all the help that they've been, but it's just not right to put all that work on them. And I thought it would just be better to close the group and allow people to have time to go friend people that they might want to stay in touch with. So you can refer to the group for more information on when that will be. My page here has the word rest on it. Because one of the things I noticed in the snowstorm that we had where I live last week was that the snow made everything quieter and cleaner and more restful. So there's snow in my Bible now. Thank you so much for joining me for this. I will be back in weeks to come. I don't know when, but I'll be back and I'll see you then. God bless you.